Hi, this is Rick Baxter. want to give you a, a quick tip on splitting your screens today. So let's go take a look. So I'm here within NAV 2013 and I've got a choice called History. Many of you put History on your screens. So let me open this up a little bit. Where you have access to like the posted sales invoices, posted sales lines, maybe archive documents, posted sales shipments, all these types of things. I want to focus first of all here on the sales invoices. When you have a list of your posted sales invoices, that's that's useful information, but the problem is you can't see exactly all the details that you really want to see on a particular document on this list kind of uh, form. Uh, actually it's a page so when I'm sitting here let's just pick one of these documents so I'm sitting here we do have access we do have access to the statistics for this document I'm going to expand my ribbon just so we've got uh, the information up here so um, and I often keep that ribbon collapsed just because uh, it gives me a little more real estate on the screen. So there's a second little tip here. But notice that you do have statistic uh, information embedded in here as well. A lot of good information about this particular posted document. The amount, the totals, the tax amounts, the sales, the original profit, adjusted profit margins, weights, all sorts of information and down at the bottom a little bit off your screen, maybe it's not, is the uh, sales uh, tax information as well. So this is all kind of useful information but I've got a click to get to it. Here's another potential is you might double click the line item and then you can actually see the details of the line items in this case it's assembling some furniture for some hours you can see that in the document itself now what I'm going to recommend to you is that you split your screens so put on your posted sales invoice line and I'm going to bring up an example I've gone ahead and done this and you'll see it here so now I still have my um, split screens and it's a little bit small on this recording but you'll kind of get the idea so here is the, my list in the upper window of my uh, sales orders my posted sales sales I'm sorry sales invoices and then in the lower window when I click on a document I can see the actual line items and so as I click down through the list I don't have to go anywhere to see the uh, actual line items of the document because I've split the window okay so I split the window into two separate pages and a sub page down here as well as in the upper right hand corner I've put in this a little fact box with some of the key statistics that I'm interested in the amounts the taxes the sales amount profitability amount things like that so I, I like having that statistic box as well so when I'm clicking on a document I can glance to the right see the totals see all the information you know if I need to slide slide over right and left I can do that as well so the concept is split your screens now if you'd like to learn how to do this um, just give us a call here at Cost Control Software. We'd be get, glad to kind of walk you through this process of splitting your screen so that you can see more information when you're si sitting here on a list kind of form and how to drop in your uh, sales um, statistic window in the upper right hand corner. So how you design your pages is real critical to the usability of the software and as you know we're real big proponents of how you use the software and how the user uses the so software so design your screens in such a way that you can get easy access to the uh, to the line items and the statistics both uh, from this uh, split screen uh, format on your posted sales invoices. By the way, I've also done the same thing on our purchase uh, invoices. I like to see them in that same split screen so I can see what I've been buying and the prices and so forth. Looks like I need to add the fact box up here. But it's, it's the same concept of uh, splitting your screens for better usability within NAV 2013. Give us a call. We'll walk you through it.